How we doing today guys? Sam and Jimmy here with your weekly fishing report. Fishing's really heated up. It's the summertime. We can't catch rockfish, but there's a ton of other stuff we can catch. So we have a few lures in front of us. We're going to talk about what's going on out there. So starting up this way, I know you've been getting out and doing a lot of perch fishing. Yep. Um, there's a lot of good perch in the Severn right now. Uh, one of my favorite go-to baits right now is these Hyperlastics, the Dart Spin Pro. Um, it's a little three and a half inch bait with a little tail spin on it. Uh, I've just been working that around docks, structure, um, pretty much any fallen trees, pretty much any type of structure, you should be able to pull a couple perch off with those. So not only are the perch in the shallows, they're also all over the place in the deep water, hard bottom, stuff like that, whether you're out in the main part of the bay or you're in the river itself, finding that hard bottom, eight to 12, 15 feet of water, tons of good perch to be caught there if you don't want to fish those shallows. But pushing out onto the main part of the bay, uh, headed down south a little bit seems to be what most things are going on. Redfish, cobia, speckled trout all sorts of stuff is happening in the lower part mid part of the bay uh so starting out closest to us all the way from the chop tank and south is speckled trout and there's a million ways to catch those fish your most popular though is going to be throwing some plastic so jim what are you going to be fishing mostly yeah we got two plastics here we're going to showcase we got the tsunami uh it's a little bit of a jointed four inch paddle tail with a little chartreuse tail and then we also have the little easies from Gambler and same thing, it's that little pepper flake with the chartreuse tail. Um, seems that chartreuse tip tails have been doing really good for people out there. And kind of these pearl or these white with some flake colors are also doing really good for everyone. So what kind of jig head are you gonna be fishing with those? Or are you gonna fish them weedless? Yeah, you have two options really. You can either fish these weedless um, on a screw lock hook just like you would any other swim bait or we got some quarter ounce, three sixteenths and three eighths GI jigs. Um, that'd be a perfect match for them for fishing those five to six foot uh, shallow little speckled trout and maybe some puppy drum down south in uh, Eastern Bay. So it's, if you're not out there in the morning with these speckled trout, you're really going to want to start to push off the bank a little bit. Fish those secondary ledges. A great thing to do on those secondary ledges, a way to keep your bait kind of right in that strike zone is with a popping cork. It's something you can keep in the, the same part of the water really well. And you can fish the same lures for fishing here. You can mix in some shrimp, things like that with those. Um, so you see you have two styles. We have the round one and then more of this cupped one. Uh, if I'm targeting more of a puppy drum bite and I'm looking for something a little bit more aggressive, I'm going to throw a little bit more water. I'm probably going to fish this cupped one. Um, but if I'm trout fishing, I'm, I'm going to stick with something a little bit more finesse. So aside from the little redfish, there's, the big redfish are starting to push up. I've heard quite a few reports just about everything out of Solomon's area on the drum are really starting to finally get in their full swing. And if you're pushing south further of that, go be a fishing. It's great whether you want to sight fish. Chumming seems to be the most productive thing at the moment. Um, but if we have clean water days, stuff like that, by all means, have your baits ready to, to sight fish for those. So... Pushing out onto the ocean side, I know you've done a little bit of surf fishing lately, Jimmy. So what you've been seeing out there? Yeah, there's a couple people have been catching some good sharks around the Assateague area. Um, besides that, you'll get your whiting and your little kingfish and stuff like that. And there's also a good amount of skates and rays that have been pretty much all over the bay, all over the ocean, the rivers. So uh, they're fun fish to fight, fun fish to catch. Um, so yeah, surf, surf bite's been getting pretty good. And then down in Delaware too, they've been catching a lot of uh, flounder out of the surf. So everything's heating up for sure. So those rays, sharks, what are you fishing mostly? Are you fishing more of a bait rig most of the time? Yeah, so for them, the easiest way to do it is just use a fish finder rig with a uh, big head of either LY or if you catch some whiting or a kingfish out in the surf, you can just cut the head off and throw that on there. Um, just use a big circle hook and set it in that sand spike. And um, when they grab it, you'll know and they'll just start running with it. Pushing back to the bay, we did miss a couple of fish. The Spanish mackerel, the bluefish, those are all starting to push up. Hopefully they'll be up in our water's waves within the next two weeks. So the only other thing we have to touch on is crabbing. Uh, from my understanding, crabbing has slowed down a little bit, but it, it is still readily available in most of your rivers here north of the bridge, south of the bridge. It's really been pretty decent. So, so I think that's going to wrap it up. And thank you guys, and come on by this week. Have a good one.